Hey guys, um, today I am showing you all my foundation collection. This madness right here is all the foundations that I own right this minute. The reason why I say right this minute is because, well, even though as we all can clearly see, I do not need to purchase nah, another foundation. But I did, in fact, um, order the BH Cosmetics um, HD Foundation. Why? Because I wanted to give it a try. I know, I know, I know. But anyway, um, I wanted to share these foundations. Some of these I am going to clear out and get rid of. Some of them, yeah. Some of them I'm trying to figure out when, like, what they're best for because, um, some of these probably will be better for winter time. Um, and of course, I don't need those right now. The um, ones that I feel will be better suited for summer, um, I will, in fact, be, you know, I will um, kind of do a follow, a follow up on with my, guess, like best foundations for summer. So that should probably um, end up coming out in a couple of weeks. So I'm just kind of going to try to kind of quickly go through some of these um i do have the bh foundation liquid did i say bh okay the bh cosmetics liquid foundation and this is the color deep espresso um the name itself is kind of rubbed off but um this was a little too dark so I did get it in deep cocoa. This is what it looks like. This is more my skin tone. Um, same thing with Revlon. I do have the Revlon photo ready. If this thing will go ahead and focus, there we go. Um, I have this in cappuccino, which is about my skin tone and this one in mocha, there we go. This one in mocha is a little too dark. But, um, so I'll see. But, um, the one thing is if you purchase a foundation that you try and it's a little too dark, it might actually be perfect to contour with if you buy it and you either can't or don't want to take it back. Um, definitely try to use it for contouring. I have the L'Oreal True Match in this this is um the super blendable this is in the number c6 soft sable and of course i do have the l'oreal true match in c8 trying to get this focus okay c8 coco i did do a review on this so you can check that out for my thoughts on that i do have this um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind and I'm okay get that together okay and caramel this is what it looks like this is probably too light this is one of the foundations I'm gonna have to really give a try um, even though I probably will not be keeping this because I will be doing a clean out because like this NYX this is in the color honey beige uh no it's too light it does not work for me no thank you and I know this is like all toe up but this is the black radiance in glazed coffee the black radiance cream foundation I do have another one of these I'm gonna try to go ahead and finish that up but I do have another one this is the Maybelline dream liquid mousse and this is in cocoa um, I I am a fan of the Maybelline Dream line because they have a couple of really good foundations because I also have the Maybelline Dream Mousse and I do think I have, it's a kind of foam one but I don't know where that is. It's a nice color but um, I can't use it when it's hot, it just runs so uh, I probably won't be using that anymore. I do have the Black Opal. This is brand new. And Hazelnut. So I definitely can't wait to give that a try. Like I said, I do have another one of these. Which is why this one isn't open either. Um, I'm just about finished with the other one I have. So I will be opening this one up soon. Because the other one is just... Well, it's gone. Like, there's nothing left in there. And this is the... Um, 
Maybelline Fit Me. Um, now, this is the original when they only had one type of Maybelline Fit Me. I'm in the color 360. Like I said, I got this before they came out with um, the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Now, and so the one that's in a formula like this now is called the Smooth and Dewy, I think. Um, but I do, I really do like that. I did try the um, Fit Me Matte and Poreless when I put it on. Basically, it made me look ashy, so I took it back. <laughs> but um, I may give it one more try. If I do, then I will do a full review on it and let y'all know. But that's if I can figure out a way to make it work for me. If it's not my shade, then um, of course I'm not going to review something that's not my shade because I can't give y'all an actual review. Of, well, a correct review on something that just does not fit my skin tone so um and this is the revlon color state in mocha if i can get this thing to focus there we go revlon color state in mocha i have the becca ultimate coverage complexion cream and this is in the color mink i do have this um tar amazon okay the tar amazonian clay full coverage foundation and i am this thing okay now you can see it it's in the color deep honey okay make sure you can see that yeah that's the tar amazonian clay i do have the mac studio tech in in w45 and these two this is some zuri foundation which i know is probably going to be gone and so it's this clean color um anytime i try this like zuri type foundation that you can find in different drugstore not drugstores you can find them in different um beauty supply stores they never look right on me so yeah so these are so far all of my foundations and like I said I know I have way too many um I am doing a clean out so most of the well not most but um I am going to condense this down and not have as many so um and like I said there are a few other foundations I want to get um uh, I did order the BH Cosmetics HD one that should be here soon and I do want to try a black opal the black opal foundation that they just came out with so i probably will be picking that up and then i probably won't be buying foundations for a long long well i probably may pick up um one or two in the fall but besides that once this is cleaned out i'm pretty much through with foundations for a while so thank you so much for joining me today and i will see y'all in the next video bye